What? What? What are you talking about? Mm, big white chocolate. Welcome back. Oh shit, we're <laughs> weird. <laughs> I was not slapping my gaping ass cheeks. <laughs> oh, hello cursor. So, favorite movie. Oh, we're shit. talking about favorite movies. Oh, if we're favorite movie, you know my favorite movie. Well, tell tell the people. Interstellar. That movie is amazing. I remember watching that movie in uh, college. I'm done with college. Yeah, that's right. Sock graduated. I'm still stuck in school uh, for another year because I suck at math, but that's irrelevant. Favorite movie in Interstellar. Why? How come that? Because, first off, I was um, in, a, in an apartment with... Uh, questionable roommate at the time so my personal time to myself was uh pretty valuable and i had spent it one evening watching a movie interstellar after watching a meme that had interstellar music in it and i was like that music sounds good therefore i'm going to watch the entire two and a half hour movie and i didn't regret it at all because i thought the movie was phenomenal and the new the movie was like scientifically accurate because they go into space and like they deal with uh, concepts that you know real people haven't dealt with yet, but theoretically are possible. And they portray it in the movies like wonderfully. The soundtrack is 10 out of 10. I have that soundtrack downloaded on my phone. I listen to it when I drive to work sometimes. Super, super, super good. And I just love that movie. The plot of the movie, some people critique and they're like, it's trying to be emotional, but it doesn't hit the right notes. But to me, I literally cried when uh, Matthew McConaughey's character is talking to his kids and he's watching their lives like through these basically videos. He's just watching these different stages of their lives through videos that have been sent to him and he wasn't a part of any of it. Oh, so, yeah, I know exactly. Snort spicy food. Let's um, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told, let me read this. Socks is just, it really feels that he, is, he has to sneeze. This feeling drags on, but there's no sneeze. This may turn into one of those times a sneeze is lost, combined with the pressure of the zomb zombo zombo apocalypse. Okay, yeah, zombo apocalypse. Apocalypse? There's no, there's no p. Zombocalypse. Zombocalypse. This could break Socks' morale. Try to sneeze. Well, no. if this is sock, this is me. So I get ass. So I guess I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. Yeah, can you choose? Uh, Fuck around with your controller. Oh, I can. Try okay. to sneeze. Can't sneeze on command. He loses the sneeze. It's very annoying. Did that really affect my morale? Yep. This game's super dumb and goofy. What the fuck? Yeah, we should have wasted the two food. All right. And we lost 10 gas. Holy shit. Well, live and learn. So, uh, my favorite movie is, uh, That's a Loaded Fucking Question. Um, uh, find a row count. Well, shoot the cans. Um, that is such a, yay. We're, oh, we just recovered from the sneeze. Sneeze. Oh, your loyalty. Oh, my loyalty sucks. Oh shit, dude. I'm not loyal. Socks Are you cheating on me? You don't care either. Well, I don't. I guess if oh. I don't care, then for, um, for swingers. So that's, a so that's a really loaded question. Uh, I am a cinephile. I love movies. Um, it's just very difficult. What the fuck? Group stumbles upon a swallow flex home strength. That would want to be you because you're buff. Uh, let's do it. Pick someone I'll to use the swallow effects and probably get killed. <laughs> All right, well, fuck it, dude. I'm a goddamn meathead. Oh, shit. <laughs> My f I've been killed? What the fuck? What a crazy plot twist. And we start over. Wait, really? Yeah, you're dead. Oh, shit, dude, this game is brutal. Yeah, it's very brutal. If it's a roguelike, though, I don't feel bad about redoing content. I mean, it's not even redoing content. Um... So, it, it's it's a loaded question for me, it, and it it really changes on any given day. Like right now, favorite movie is Endgame. It's fucking amazing. I cried. I laughed. Um, I know what your favorite movie is. What is it? Spider Man Three. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. Uh, best stop. Um, what would you pick though if somebody was like? I, d I honestly can't tell you. Like, off the top of my head, I'm just drawing a huge goddamn blank right now. Godzilla? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm very excited for the new Godzilla. Um, favorite movie of all time. That's just so... 
That is just such a loaded question, and I hate it when people ask me it because I have so many. I wouldn't even say like favorite movie. I could just list off good movies that I've really, really enjoyed. I love asking people what their favorites are of like anything, like favorite song, favorite movie, favorite food. Just because I think it's kind of revealing of their personality, like how in touch are they with them with themselves. Apparently. Not to say that you're not. <laughs> I was just about to say like I don't know. I don't. Mean, what's my name? Um, <laughs> I am curious though what you if you had to pick a favorite would be. Did you see Detective Pikachu? Yeah. What'd you think? It was okay. Like I as a Pokemon fan, like I loved it. God, there's a lot of food. Oh here. dude, I got a fucking gun. Yeah, there's a gun over here too. Um Oh, they're gonna tickle. Yeah, no, it was really good if you're a Pokemon fan. Uh like if you've ever enjoyed Pokemon once in your life, then you'll definitely enjoy the movie. I'm just gonna to... fucking die. Ah! Yeah, your health certain though. So kill some of the zombies. There's another guy. I have a gun, but I don't think I have ammo. Shotgun. Give me the shotgun. There we go. Um, oh, nice. Good shit. I really liked uh, Butterfly Effect with Ashton Kutcher. I've I heard really... that movie reference, but I've never seen that. Oh, it's a really good movie. What's um, it about? Hockey stick, dude. I'm a blue jacket. Uh, Ashton Kutcher. If you have not seen Butterfly Effect, I'm sorry. You will need to skip ahead. Um, it's Spoiler alert. Ashton Kutcher is a student in college, and oh, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Um, basically, what I remember is, for whatever reason, things he starts writing down in his journal, he is able to travel back in time and try and change his past. And he returns to the present to only find out how much how different his life is. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really clever. I need you in the car. Into the car! Ooh, 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 ooh! And you're dead. All right, time to restart. <laughs> um, yeah, and he was, and like each time his past gets changed more and more differently, or his present, his future, not past, his his present, <laughs> his present gets changed constantly. Dude, time Dude. travels a fucking bitch. Um, oh my god, I hate. I will literally need to think about it and come back to you on what my favorite movie is. Okay, because... I'm gonna. We're gonna do. Uh, you, you're committed now to giving me an answer. So, next episode, we're getting an answer. Speaking of next episode, how long has this one been going on for? Because guess who forgot to set a timer again? We're fine. We're at 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, shit. Um, Never mind. I guess we do have a timer. What's your favorite video? Okay, my favorite video game, if I had to pick one, would probably be Witcher 3. In really? Or Red Dead Redemption 2, even Dude, though I never Dude, props to you for picking a modern game, because everybody, when they're asked that question, picks some old game. I probably never, besides Call of Duty Modern Warfare when it initially came out, um, I had never spent as much time on a game as I have on The Witcher 3. I think really? I play, I think it was over 300 hours. Damn. I mean, if you're, is that, like, all you're using to quantify it, though, or are you talking about, like, enjoyment oh, no. of the game? The story, the visuals, the gameplay was all revolutionary. So you like, just like the whole experience? Oh yeah, it was phenomenal. Absolutely loved it. Every yeah. single second. Do you have a favorite mission? Or like character? <sighs> Geralt, I mean, he's by far probably my favorite character. I um, like the, the dude, who's the dude? I think it, I want to say Dijkstra. He had like DJ in the beginning of his name. He was like the criminal like mob boss guy. I could be completely wrong, but... Um, he was always cool to me. Just kind of an asshole. Jet, to and I'm dead. Shit, dude. Hi. What fucking mode are we on? Jesus, I feel like this is ridiculous. We're on buttfuck mode. Apparently. God damn. Okay, so my favorite game. Thank you for asking. No, I'm just kidding. I would probably say, uh, I, for the longest time, I would have said my favorite game is uh, Majora's Mask. Because I place a uh, really high value on anything on the soundtrack. And... I like the soundtrack to Majora's Mask more than Ocarina of Time, even though I think they both are competing for, like, some of the best soundtracks of their time. Also, Diddy Kong Racing, which was also on the N64, that soundtrack is phenomenal. But Majora's Mask had it all. It had the atmosphere, it had the soundtrack, it had the, the kind of edgy, like... Um, I mean, there's fan theories on the whole game about how it goes through the Kubler-Ross stages of grief... You know what I'm talking about? There's like, I don't remember yeah. the, the order yeah, yeah. of the stages or anything, but it's like bargaining, acceptance, denial, anger. And um, it was oddly poetic the whole way through. And 
the ending with the giants and everything. How could you forget that? Super iconic. Meanwhile, your boy over here doesn't even really like Nintendo games. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, I don't know, man. Just... I don't, know, um, I don't know when these episodes are coming out, but we're going to play uh, Yoshi's Island. Yes. Reluctantly. Oh, oh shit. I know. S okay, one of my favorite... I can tell you my favorite comedy movie of all time. It's... Uh, Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Uh, Step Brothers with Will Ferrell. Oh, and good John, pick. And John C. Riley. To this day, I'll, I'd probably watch it once a year. It still makes me laugh. That movie's fucking hysterical. So many... That movie's so easy to quote. Because, like, everything they say is just gold. Well, Farrell's a genius, but unfortunately, his most recent movie where he's Sherlock Holmes. Also, first time he's acted side-by-side -side with John C. Riley since, I think, Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby, uh, literally has, like, an 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. Holy shit, it that's did, bad. It did real bad, and that sucks because I love them both a lot. Honestly, though, uh, one of the first times I was ever really exposed to Will Ferrell was on SNL. But, like, the first times in uh, film or, like, um, acting was in the office. And you just can't follow up. Oh, his uh, acting in the office. Steve Carell. Oh, Steve yeah, no. Steve Carell. No, so, I, I still watch The Office even after Steve left just because I was... It was actually a rare instance where I got invested with the other characters. Oh, okay. That makes Besides, because I know Steve Carell was kind of like... The, well, they focused on everybody, like, an equal amount. There's a gun right here, by the way. It's, like, hidden. I don't know whether I should pick it up or just stick with what I've got. The mouse. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Spoon just shot me. I'm sorry. That's probably what it sounded like. <laughs> these, these toilets. How do you fire the gun? Because I can only, like, D people. I don't even know you can melee with a gun. Oh, you don't have ammo. Oh. Okay, I'll just I'm, switch. I've been, like, accidentally stealing everything. Yeah, what the fuck? Is, is the gun... Oh, there's my... Uh, there's my thing. Oh, nothing. Are we going back to the car? Yeah. Let me get the fuck out of here. Ah! Okay, we did it. Go 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 go! Oh no! Because they can beat up your car and then blow up your car and then you get and then you have to walk and then shit gets real fucking hard. How have we made it past like the second mission? Uh, the the campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Do the smell Ah, uh, okay. And, and during the, the smell, smell, yeah, it's probably gonna lower morale. Yep. I mean, you gotta get sleep though. This is all just like my online zombie video games. Which, that's pretty meta. Uh, the group finds a health food store. It seems like no one bothered to loot it because the food was disgusting. Most of the food seems to be rotting anyway. Maybe it's not. It could be that the food is supposed to look and smell like this. I want to say we ignore it. Yeah. Um. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay, well, there's our moral. Mor morale. When does it give us the option to heal? Because we need to heal. I thought that would have happened with time. Hey, coffee shop or sporting goods store? Sporting what do you goods, think? Sporting goods store is definitely going to give you melee weapons. I was honestly leaning towards the sporting goods store. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. You guys want to hear my ass clap? <laughs> He's just so dummy thick. Everywhere he goes, I knows where he, I know where he is. <laughs> oh shit! You got a machete. There's a paddle down here. If you're a cricket bat, I guess. Dude, mind shit, if shit, I do? Shit! 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 I don't remember. I, oh. uh, I don't remember it being this hard. Yeah, dude, this game's fucking brutal. It doesn't help that we like started. We started off injured, so you you're like really you can die really easily. Yeah, but it seems like whenever I walk up to the zombies, they don't actually like attack me. Yeah, no, it's like when you get put in a group, you can get real fucked. Speaking of. Yeah, when you see like question marks and exclamation points over your head, that means get, ah! the, get the fuck out because I'm dead. <laughs> Son of a bitch! God damn it, dude! All right, next episode, s s fucking whatever. We're, my we're name, gonna go to Canada. My fucking name is. We'll figure out uh, what what my favorite movie is.